Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 21st of 2022, well, it is titled the spinning pulsar of the Crab Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a portion, the inner portion of the Crab Nebula, which is the leftover remnant of a supernova, which it was seen to explode here on Earth nearly a thousand years ago and was actually documented on ancient uh, sky maps to have gone off in the constellation of Taurus in the year 1054. Now, of course, they never saw anything like this. What was seen at the time was an unusually bright star in the sky and in fact visible during the day. It was bright enough that it was able to overwhelm the sunlight and be visible during daytime, which, of course, most stars cannot. Now here we're looking at the central regions of that and what is left behind when a star when a massive star explodes is a compact core compressed down to just a few miles across something the size of a city and this is what we call a neutron star. It gets its name because within the star all of the electrons in the atoms have been under intense pressure have been pushed into the nuclei and they combine with the protons and when an electron and a proton combine you can create a neutron. So essentially it is a large ball of neutrons all packed together as close as they can be. These spin very rapidly and in fact this one spins 30 times every second. So if you can imagine something miles across spinning 30 times a second you have to imagine how dense it is to be able to hold itself together and not be ripped apart as it spins. Now here we look at it in three different types of light. We look at visible light images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and that's what we see in the purple. We see X-ray light taken from the Chandra X-ray Observatory in the blue and then infrared light in the red and that comes from the Spitzer Space Telescope. So we look at all three of these and that gives us again a more complete picture of what is happening within these this pulsar. And that's because some of the objects are giving off very high energy. A pulsar is very high energy and tends to emit a lot of very high energy radiation. So things like x-rays are important to study it. For typical stars they don't put out many x-rays so looking at them in x-ray light isn't very important. Infrared light can be useful for other portions and cooler portions of the nebula that give off infrared that can be studied that way. So when we look at something across the entire spectrum, including ju not just these three, but other types of light as well, we really get a more complete picture of an object. And it's only been within the last few decades, last 50 or 60 years, that we've really been able to do this as we've had telescopes that can observe in things like x-rays gamma rays up above the atmosphere to give us that complete picture of these astronomical objects such as the crab nebula. So that was our picture of the day for August 21st of 2022. It was titled the spinning pulsar of the crab nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be climate spiral. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.